And today I'm going to talk to you guys about uh, Uniform 101, how to wear your uniform, how to respect it, what to do with it. So I have Miss Sargent, the band mom extraordinaire, band president of the Art of Crow Mighty Night Marching Band. Yeah. She's the bomb. Ooh, she's the boss. Yeah. Well, only if you're in the uniform. <laughs> <laughs> and then we have Taylor Sheehan Watson, and she is a trumpet player in the Monday Night Marching Band. So, to start this off, we're going to talk about some of the accessories that actually go with your uniform. Uh, these are things that you have to buy yourself. So, we have, first of all, white gloves. White gloves, not black gloves. Keep these clean. And then we have black long socks and you want to make sure they're long socks and you want to make sure they don't have anything on them. This is a good example of a sock. This is a bad example of a sock because it has polka dots on it. Um, it also is and important. Is bad bad are example. Wrong. Don't, don't, don't wear do that. Short bad example. <laughs> um, and then you also, this is really important, you don't want the Nike socks with the swooshes on them. We just don't want anything on the sock. And lastly, we have the Viper marching shoes. Uh, you could purchase these with an order form from the Lippos lady. If that's already passed, uh, I will put a link in the description so you can go buy them on Amazon or, some, or an online place where you can buy them there. So, okay, to get on with how to put your uniform on. So, okay, how to take it off the rack. So, obviously, you will unzip the bag that you keep your uniform in, and the first thing that you put on is your bibs or your pants. And that's what I'm wearing right now. So you'll take those off before you take the jacket off, just so that you don't end up putting the jacket somewhere, like on the ground or anything like that. So Taylor will put her pants on. There's two buttons at the top, and then there's a big long zipper that you have to do. So we'll do that. And as she puts them on, she will be careful not to step in the little extra holes that are on the sides of the bottom of the pants uh, because there are buttons on the bottom of the pants so we can fit them to everyone. So you don't want to mess those up. So No shoes when you put these on? Yes. No so make shoes. sure you don't have your shoes on while you're putting the bibbers on because that's just not good. Don't do it. Yeah. And the shirts that we'll have under this will... They'll be the dry fit purple band shirts that you should have bought or maybe you'll get. And yeah. we'll have black pants, or not pants, black shorts or spandex yeah. would work. Mm -hmm. Something thin. Something yes, thin, because you can see like shorts do this and stuff. Yeah, because they're tighter. Okay, and then we'll go on to how to put our jacket on. So with our jackets, we have a clasp that's up here. And then we have buttons all down here. And then we have a zipper on the inside. So undo the clasp, then you'll undo the buttons, and then you'll undo the zipper. Three-step process. And then you'll put it on to where the white is in the front. You don't put it on like a normal jacket don't like Taylor is doing this. here. Don't. don't wear it like that. That's not right. <laughs> you'll look backwards. Yes, you will. So. She'll put it on, and she'll make sure she doesn't put her hands in those extra little holes on the Just side. like the pants. Yes, exactly. Um, and then, so we will do the zipper first. You'll ask a friend, and they'll do your zipper for you. We're a big family, so you can just ask anyone. It doesn't matter. So you'll do the zipper, and then you'll do buttons. And then after you do the buttons, you'll do the clasp that's at the top of the jacket. Cool. Okay. Now you have your jacket and your pants on. The next thing you're gonna do is put your gloves on. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you need yeah, everyone gloves needs first. gloves. Everyone has gloves. Everyone needs white gloves, not black gloves, white gloves. Yeah. So Taylor will put her gloves on, and the next thing she will do is take from her, we call it the Shaco box because it has a hat that we'll get on later in a second, but it also has your gauntlets in it. And you want to talk about how to put your gauntlets on. So gauntlets, they have Velcro, so when you get them, they'll come apart. Um, on each side, there's a silver, there's 
one silver side and one just purple. For the silver, the silver wants to go on the outside, so this one would be my left, my left gauntlet because the silver would end up being faced outside. So sometimes you could do it by yourself or whatever is easier. You could have a friend help you out. Yeah. But sometimes it's easier to actually have a friend because they yeah. just. Yeah. And you want it to be tighter around your yes. wrist because. When you move your arms a lot, sometimes the gauntlets can move. They'll slide down to here. Like they'll be up, they'll be like here, and then they'll move down here. So, so, yeah. And then you have your gauntlets on. So, last thing that you will do to put with your uniform is, of course, your hat, like we were talking about. So you'll have your hat, and usually the strap will probably be on the back of it when you get it on the shako box. So you just want to. Put it towards the front, and ladies, you want your you want a bun when you do this. You don't want hair sticking out, and there's a little hole in the middle of this for your bun to go in. So it'll just slide on. Mm -hmm. This will go under your chin, and we want to do a two finger roll. So you have two fingers in between the nose and the lid of the shako. So yeah. that. And to talk about hair, also. Girls, uh, we have these little strands of hair, and we want to get these off our necks. So when Taylor goes to a competition, she'll have a uh, hair gel and hairspray, and she'll get that up there so that it doesn't come down. Bobby pins, all that kind of stuff. Uh, so, and the whole point of the band marching band world uniform is for obviously everyone to look uniform. So we all, we all look the same. We all look the same. We all look like guys, and that's why you have to put your hair up. To go on with that, girls and guys don't wear makeup. Uh, it's I know you want to look pretty for the competition. You want all the band guys to be like, "Oh, you're so pretty," you know, like that. Even though you look like them. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> but <laughs> so <laughs> so don't wear makeup because you will sweat no matter what at a competition, at a football game, and your makeup will go crazy. And obviously, okay, our band fun. uniform is white, so no makeup on the uniform. Mm -hmm. Thank you. But so you just don't want to wear makeup, so we don't. So we all look like guys. Cool. And usually with the shako, we have a plume, which are like feathers that stick straight up. We don't have them out right now, but you'll get them. There's a little place to put them right there. Yeah. But for competition and games. Yeah. Okay, so let's talk about taking your uniform off. And one instance in taking your uniform off is when we go to our third quarter food break. Basically, we go, on, at football games, we go down to the concession stands and everyone gets whatever they want. And one of the rules of the uniform, you are not allowed to eat in your gauntlets, gloves, and jacket. So. What we want to do is, we first of all, we take our gauntlets off, obviously. You want to put them back together so that they're just together. Make sure that the silver sides match up and the non-silver sides match up. Yep. And you fold them. And normally at a football game, you won't have your shako box. Mm -hmm. So what you'll do is you'll take all this off and you will fold your jacket. I'll do an example with my jacket. So you'll fold your jacket. From the back, you'll fold it in half, and then make sure the AK is on this side, and then there's no AK on this side. So you'll take your sleeves, line them up, and then fold them inwards, like you're folding a normal shirt, and then you fold the bottom upwards, and then you'll have the AK on this side poking out. And what you'll do is you'll set your jacket down on the stand, then you'll set your gauntlets, gauntlets and, then, and then your shako. And you can put your gloves inside your shako. They just need to be somewhere where you can see them and they're not messy. So that's how you do that. And we'll talk about putting it back on the rack. So you only take your jacket off when we go to that third quarter food or when you are in the band room. You never, on your way back from a competition or on your way back from the football game, you don't take your your uniform off, your jacket off while you were walking. Unprofessional. It's unprofessional. So you'll get back to the, the band room or the bus or wherever you are 
and you'll undo the undo the clasp, and then you'll undo the buttons, and then you'll undo the zipper, and you'll get this little thing at the bottom. <laughs> it gets yep. a little stuck. Yeah, the zippers aren't very co like cooperative, so be careful with them. <laughs> and so to put it back on the hanger, we're not gonna fold it. Yeah, no, I'm just yeah. putting it on. Oh, right okay, okay. So yeah, so you can fold your jacket and put it somewhere where it's not on the ground. You can put it in your shaker box like we had or on a table or something like that. And then you'll take your uh, bibs or your pants off, do the buttons, do the zipper, and you will put the bibs on the hanger with... Um, bibs always first. Yeah, bibs will always go first before your jacket or anything else. Even though you take it off backwards that way. So you'll you want to like zip it up when you yes. put it back on. You'll zip it up and button it up. And then Taylor will next take these little creases that are in her pants. We all have them. They're on the front. Yeah, they're on the front. Right. And they're also on the back a little bit too. Mm -hmm. So she'll take those creases at the bottom of her pants and she'll line them up. So we're not going to fold the pants in half or anything. We're gonna fold. We're gonna find those creases and put them there. Okay. And then you'll fold the pants like a towel over into this bottom bar on the hanger. So you'll have that, and it's like a towel, easy. And then you will take your jacket, and I'll grab Taylor's jacket for her. Make sure the white. And so you'll put the white, the white side with the little white sticker yeah. on this, just. As a reminder, the yep. surgeon taught me that just now. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so you'll put it on like that. Yep, and you'll do that. And then you'll do the zipper, the buttons, the clasp. You don't have to do that right now. It's going to take forever. Yeah. Whatever. But, so you'll do all that. And once you have it like this, you will put it back in the bag. And... <laughs> what you do? I put it over the bag. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> don't put your yeah, no. uniform over the bag. Uniform goes in the bag. The bag doesn't go in the uniform. So she'll put the bag over the uniform to where the zipper on the front of the bag is matching with the white on the front of the uniform. So you want when you zip the or unzip the bag, you want to see the you, like the front of the uniform. Yeah. And then when you go to put your uniform back, you want to put it with the other colors, and the colors are coordinated towards your section. So Taylor's a trumpet, and trumpets have green. So she'll put it back with all the green people. So yeah. And uh, I think that's it with the uniforms. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Pretty much that's it. Yeah. I got it. Cool. Um, thank you for watching. Uh, keep your hands, arms, and feet inside the ride at all times because it's going to be a wild one this summer going into the school year marching yeah. band information overload. Yeah. So it's thank you for fun. watching. Thank you, Taylor. Thank you, Ms. Sargent, for being in the video. So bye, guys.